Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a fuse box system so that you can see the lights are all turned on in the house and when you go to the fuse box you can deactivate all the energy in the house, switch it back on and of course you can switch around the light itself like that. So let's go. So first of all I prepared a few things for this. We have these sound waves here, the big click and the normal click. We have this texture here for the fuse and the material and we have the light switch that's just on static mesh. So what I want to do is we have to create these blueprint classes here. This is a blueprint class actor. So this is the blueprint lamp. So we have a static mesh, just a lamp with a spotlight under it. You can play around what works best for you. Then we have the static mesh that I showed you before. So it's just a switch. And we have a box collision with a switch that triggers the switch. So when we place this lamp in the world, and you go to the details tab here, you can just take the switch put it to the wall here, for example, and then you can just use it. Yeah, pretty simple. So, but I want to show you how this works. So let's go to the blueprint lamp and we want some functions here. So first of all, we need two variables. So the variable on and just the inner G. So let's compile and save this and put both of these to true. So what I want to use now, I want to use the interact interface from the last tutorials. If you didn't watch this, link is in the description. So then we can call the interact function here. The first question will be with a branch this is for the energy, so has the lamp energy, of course. Then I want to create two functions here, so the switch on function and of course the switch off function. Both of these are very similar to each other, so we just need the static mesh, so the lamp, and we need the light itself. And what I want to do is I want to set the material so that we can play around with the material right here. So we have um, just plastic material and then um, the light. So of course, when we want to switch it on, we take this material, put it right here. And as you can see, it's the first element. So put it this to one. And the second thing is I want to set the intensity of the light itself when we want to switch it on, in my case, to 10,000. And then we set the Boolean to true. And the good part is we can just copy and paste this for the switch off function, of course, and we just have to change this here to false, this to zero. And here we just choose the normal material. So compile and save this. So this is the switch on, the switch off function. And now we just have to call both of these functions. So we go from the true case when we have energy. The first thing we want to play a 3D sound. That's just the click sound. And then we need the um, flip flop function so that we can switch around. So we take our switch on and switch off. On the A we want switch off, on B we want to switch on because in my case the lights are already on when we start the game. Then we want to switch it off and then back on and again again. So let's see if it works. So if we go inside the game, so as you can see, the lights are turned on. We go to one switch and we can switch it on and off. And of course, these 
as well. So, that's it for this part. So now we want that these fuse box are, can switch all the lights on and off and take also the energy away and take it back. So we have on the fuse box, we have this static mesh. That's just a cube. So this one here that I just gave um, um, metal material. And then we have the trigger here. So that's just some box collision. That's right up in front of the fuse box. And we have a plan so you can use this. This is just um, the fuse sign here that you can see. And then we have the radius, pretty big, where we can play around um, how much radius the fuse box has. So in this case, as you can see, it is for the whole house. So in this case also you put the fuse box inside the world and then you can play around with the radios. So okay, you can, as you can see, move around the whole radios. And if you have to do the radios as well, you can see works pretty good. So, and we use this to see what's inside this radius. So which electricity components are inside this. So what we need is we go to the fuse box and we need some functions here. So what I want to do here, I want to use the interact interface as well. Compile and save this. And then we just say call the event interact. And I need the variable here. That will be the energy. Compile and save this and put this default to true. The first thing I want to do in this case is I want to play a sound. So let's go and play sound 2D. And this will be in my case the big click, so it's different. Then we need the branch to ask if the energy of the fuse box is with energy. And then we can set it to true or false. Of course, if it's already true, then we set it to false and not false, we set it to true. So the next thing is we need to for each loop in both cases. And what we need now is we need our radius here, say get overlapping actors, put this to our blueprint lamp here, this one, so that it's checks which are inside this radius here. Then we put the array inside this one here. So for each lamp, as you can say, we want to do something. So first of all, we need to cause to the blueprint lamp that we created. This one, put this inside here and the array element will be the object. Then we want to, of course, set the energy from the lamp. And it's pretty simple. We take the energy from the fuse the, um, box and put it inside the energy of the lamp. So it's every time similar to each other. And last thing, we need the branch to ask if it has energy. And then we can call our switch on and the switch off function. Of course, on true, so that means it has energy, can switch it on, on false, of course, switch it off. Like that. Great, so now play the sound, checks if the fuse has energy, checks which lamps are in the radius of this fuse box, and then switch on the energy or switch it off, depending on which state is it, and switch on and off the lamps. So, and the last thing, very important, be sure that you set the radius, that's a, a sphere collision. Be sure that you set the collision to custom. Can character step on it? No. And be sure that the porn is ignoring, otherwise it didn't work with the interact interface because you would always trigger the for, uh, diffuse box. So be sure to do that. And, oh, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> energy with this one, yeah. <laughs>
Sorry, it's not my main language. <laughs> so let's see if it works. So as you can see, all lights are on. And now everything is switched off. Switched on again. And of course, if we switch it off, we can't even trigger the lights inside here. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.